Hello. Today's um, Sunday, June 5th, 2022. Um, I was just thinking about Paul Begley and his, his freezers of meat. Um, hopefully he has power backup for that because if the power goes out, how will his meat stay good in the freezer if it doesn't? It might ruin the meat that's saved in there. So hopefully he has some type of generator to keep um, the meat frozen so it doesn't go bad. Um, good, good, good idea to get some things from the Amish people over there in, I don't know, Indiana or wherever he got it from. Um, they do kind of live without power too so they they've been keeping old ways and not relying on power they're already i don't know if they'll mess with those people over there um their their economy is kind of just self-sufficient they don't really they don't buy anything at grocery stores they just like I don't know, they get medicine from places though, so, whew, I don't know, maybe they try and do herbal medicines and stuff. So they're already ready to survive without power over there. Um, but I don't know if they would be, by the Antichrist, if they would bother them or not since they kind of try to not to live without you know everything that with the grid they don't use it so maybe they're already prepared for it it's pretty good for them um i don't know let's, let's talk what am i going to talk about today um Kind of think. Can't have, like, I have to have something to talk about. Um, let's see, going to a church building or um, just communicating with people online for church, I mean, for like. Get to getting together with believers. Um, some people still believe in like going to a physical building. That it's a command of God to do that. But I don't know if that's true. Um, if you can have faith and believe and feel okay with not going to a church building and feel that you're doing God's will by what you're doing yourself, then that's possibly okay with God if you're, since you're following him and we all go to the garden alone. We all come to the garden uh, alone, like when Jesus prayed alone and everyone was tired and resting. Um, yet, we do want to be encouraged by each other um, as we see the day approaching. So I think maybe going to church could be a good thing, actually, because you can feel encouraged by each other. I just don't like that. I, I know there's a power structure, like the pastor and the people under him and then the people in the church. Um, it's like a hierarchy sort of thing. Sometimes I don't like that. And I think we should all be equal before God. Um, yet we aren't equal, are we? I don't feel in some ways we aren't equal. I think some people have more gifts of things that others don't. That they know how to teach better. Um, even though we 
we could all learn from each other. I feel like some people, just like the angels, might have higher, some have higher uh, authority given to them by God because um, they're more gifted on certain things, maybe, than other. Than, um, <clears throat> but yet, even though the, the small things are needed by the whole, so even the lower, lowliest of the people or angels are um, important for the whole body. So, and we should take the humblest position that God could call on us and um, invite us to the higher position because we've taken the lowest position of the whole body because um, it's like a supportive role and it's needed. I think God honors that. Um, it's good to gather together and worship together and encourage each other. I think that's a good thing. It's good to gather together on online also and to encourage each other and lift each other up before God. Um, um, I don't know how to teach really. I think I'm more of a supportive role in a way. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm a leader. Um, maybe it's just the way I'm made, my spirit, and, um, I have to keep my faith in Christ, Jesus, um, his spirit within us, the fire that doesn't burn. It maybe burns the bad things out of us and makes us pure. His Holy Spirit fire. Um, before him, you know, before God. I was wondering about, like, how you could, you, he did say that you can't see God and live, yet somehow we can see God and live at the same time. I don't understand that, where it said, you can't see me and live, like, if you see him, you'll die, like, but yet if you, if you live, if you die to him, you'll, you'll live with, you'll be with him, see his face, and maybe you see God through the Lord Jesus, and God and Jesus, one, the Spirit and Jesus and hearing his voice and everything. That's the only way we can see God. Maybe because God's a spirit and he has a voice, he has a sound to him, yet he is not in a body. But Jesus is the body and we're the part of him because the, Holy, the spirit within us all. Um, like God, God in our minds, uh, our thoughts, um, our past, look to the past, to um, guide your future, learn from the past, to do what's right, to make a better future. Um, God knows what will happen, actually. He may reveal that to some people. He may speak it to people. People might, might, entertain angels 
if you if you're in the habit of um, helping strangers you may have entertained an angel unawares you may even have spoken to an angel and heard from God through the angel God could be speaking through the angels um, like the the spirit the holy the fire that didn't burn up the bush with Moses um, I was wondering about that I don't know if it's like just the spirit that act, does it actually look like fire, but it's like a bluish fire, like, you know, the laser lights and stuff. So like, I don't know if that was just exists by itself or, or is it like a technology that maybe in, in a mountainside that in the rocks, that maybe some future civilization might have put there and, and maybe they speak through it to and make that stuff that the people in that time didn't know about the technology of it and thought of it as God. Like them speaking through it with speakers hidden in a mountain, possibly making the fire that seems real that you can touch and you can feel it but it's all technology possibly like you know how wizard of oz and the wizard has he gets behind the curtain and he does that thing with the fire in the space really big like he's god or something because it's a big huge spirit when he's actually just a man like because he has magic powers like with his little technology stuff that he had but it scared the the lion and it scared the lion. He ran in fear and jumped out the window, I think. Or something like that. And scared all of them. The scarecrow, the lion, the tin man, and Dorothy. When they found out the dog revealed it behind the curtain they got mad at the wizard and the wizard felt sorry for deceiving them and decided to help them which was nice of the wizard I wonder if Satan is the Lucifer is sort of like the wizard I don't know he liked the wizard. It's a thought I had. Everyone's so against Lucifer. What if he um, has been forgiven by God, the Holy, the Holy Spirit, and God? Maybe he felt convicted and wanted to turn back to God and, he, and God forgave him. I don't know. I don't know if Lucifer and Satan are the same thing or not. Satan, like, a bad spirit, people, evil spirit, but Lucifer was the angel and he was good before the angel turned bad and maybe he's come back to God. And nobody else knows it yet, but the, the bad, like the good and the bad, that you can be both good or bad, you can choose either or. It's within you to choose whether one way or the other, and the good is like God and the bad, what you can do that's bad is like Satan in you, and you need to choose the good over the bad. Sometimes we, because of our flesh, we end up, um, you know, you can be good in your flesh also. So if you can be strong enough to be good in your flesh, your body and your mind, that's part of the flesh. So if you can control your thoughts and um, 
not get like so so sinful that you all you think about is the sin and bad things and but concentrate on the good things the heavenly things just like the spirit of god and um think good thoughts and forgive others and even forgive satan or lucifer not satan but lucifer the uh, angel maybe he's come back and he wants to go back to god and god might let him yeah, for a father in heaven and you're forgiven the lucifer angel and yet the um i would hope that he could be forgiven if he forgives us as well when we're bad um we've been deceived and we've been forgiven don't know if that's the plan I'll bring all creation back to him back to God and the good things that could come out of that the goodness not the evilness a perfect heaven on earth not not technology no not that even though we use technology like i'm recording myself talking right now so we use it can you use it and have not have it controlling you i think so really like right now uh, where i'm recording myself and it, it records me and my voice and my image yet not letting it take control of my mind and my spirit that's in me a long time ago um i had this friend of mine <laughs> Ooh, he was standing next to me and we're at a park with a little pond and this woman just appeared seemed to appear talking about things like she's gonna give birth to the antichrist maybe or something like that and, and it seemed like to me it seemed like she was not even real but like maybe i was seeing something in front of me like it seemed like she was from the past not from the present at that time and i was seeing it it's like seeing a uh, projection but it looked real and in front of me and talking and saying words that i asked my friend about it afterwards like I asked him if that was even real. Like, what was that? Um, because I don't know where the person came from. The lady, actually. So, that was one strange thing that happened to me in my life. A lot of strange things have happened. <laughs> um, there's so many different things. It's like how do you how do you explain your whole life in a video? You really can't. You can only talk about bits and pieces of it because it does last. Even though it doesn't last long, it does seem to last long. Um, and like when you're younger and you're growing, it seems like you grow. You feel like your body's growing when you're sleeping, like when you're laying on the bed. When you're resting, it kind of feels like your body's stretching a little bit. You, each time you lay down when you're younger and you're not as tall as you're fully, you haven't come to your full tallness yet as an adult, you can feel your body growing in a way. It's kind of strange, but like once you're older, you stop growing taller and your feet stop getting bigger. You just reach that final part, I guess your adulthood body um if anybody else when you're younger feel that your body could you feel it kind of growing on you 
like parents could, would me measure your kids or um, see how much, or the doctors, whoever you want to, would measure you. When you go get new shoes, you'd have to measure your feet, see what size your foot was because it was growing. Um, things like that. Um, oh, I'm going to eat chili for dinner tonight and, ch and rice. I want to have some good food to eat. It's tasty. Okay, bye-bye.